original 235 engine, often, often Hauser valve cover gasket, often Hauser intake manifold with dual carburetor. As you guys can see the carburetors work simultaneously, the front one and the rear one. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Generation Old School. If it is your first time passing by the channel, my name is William. And on this video, I would like to show you a beautiful 1954 Bel Air that we have for sale. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about the story of the car. The car is originally from Minnesota. It belonged to another guy that was restoring the car. He did a lot of things to the car. But unfortunately, in the middle of the restoration, this guy suffered a stroke. The car was left unattended. It stayed inside a mechanic shop or restoration shop. Whoever was working on the car at that time and they um, left the car a little um, unattended let's just say for the most part the car is a beautiful driver driver exactly what you see is exactly how the guy got it the only thing they did was lower the car two inches they put better rims as you can see these are not the original uh, steely wheels that come with the hubcaps these rims are aftermarket, and I really like them, to be honest with you. You can put the original hubcaps on the rims, but most likely you're going to scratch the paint on the rim. These rims are powder coated. It has brand new radio wide wall tires, 15-inch rims. As you can see, the car has all of the chrome available in 1954. For example, this was an extra in 1954. This high bar was also an extra in 1954. Back in 1954, whenever you would order these cars, they will give you a catalog and you will pick if you wanted a 150, a 210, or a Chevy Bel Air. Obviously, at that time, the owner picked up the most decked out car that you could have in 1954 from Chevy, and it's this one. Beautiful car. Originally, these cars came with a 235 six inline engine. With a power glide transmission original 235 engine often often hauser valve cover gasket often hauser intake manifold with dual carburetor power steering power brakes this car only has these brakes in the front the rear has drums it has an open differential this car used to come with an um, enclosed differential it has an upgraded radiator it doesn't overheat whatsoever it was already converted to 12 volts. It doesn't have point in the distributor cap anymore. It has a electronic igniter. So it's an electronic uh, ignition, sy ignition system. Drives very, very good. It also has electric wipers in case you get caught on the rain. This is the oil filter. It has hoses for the oil to flow by, get filtered, and goes back into the into the engine power steering power brakes open differential disc brakes it is lower two inches it is a beautiful car it has a beautiful stance the interior is in great shape the paint has a little bit of floss in some areas for example here has a few scratches by the door it also has another scratch i don't know if you guys are able to see it on the on the camera but for the most part it is a beautiful car with a lot, a lot of extras. It has no pulse, which is a very reliable car. A lot of people like the four door, the two door um, hard tops, including myself. One thing that they did to the steering wheel, I don't know if you guys like it. I like it. I think it's really comfortable. They replaced the steering column with an aftermarket steering column. The advantage of that is that you can adjust the steering wheel. You can put it up or you can also put it put it down depending how you want to drive i think it's something really comfortable to have on the car that really big steering wheel sometimes gets a little bit uncomfortable to drive around this one has power steering um it's in great shape if there is anybody interested in buying this car please give us a call our number is 305-783-0755 we're asking twenty six thousand dollars or best offer we're willing to work with anybody interested in the car if you want to drive down to miami or fly to miami to see the car in person 
by all means, you're welcome to, su to do so. Give us a call and let's get you some time for you to come and see the car. Um, here is the documentation from, from the engine when it was rebuilt. This is the instruction for the dual carburetor system, how to connect them, how to install them. And on the other envelope, you have the documentation from where, from when the engine was rebuilt. Um, it was rebuilt in 2014, December 23rd, 2014 is this invoice. And they paid $2,762 to rebuild the engine best six in line engine that i have ever had the transmission by the way is a three speed transmission um turbo 350. if you guys are enjoying this video i would like to ask you all to please give it a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't um be sure to check out the rest of the videos that i have on this channel and thank you so much for your support thank you so much for looking at the videos that i post thank you so much for subscribing we also have an Instagram account. You can follow us on Instagram at Generation Old School. And again, if you're interested in buying this car, give us a call at 305-783-0755. I will be more than happy to FaceTime with you and show you anything else that you would like to see on this car. Let's go ahead and take it out for a ride. That way you guys can see how nice and how good this car drives. I'm impressed with the look that this car has. It has a beautiful high rod look. It is low. I love the tires and the wheels. I like the bumper guards that it has in the front and the rear, especially the front bumper. I think it is really, really pretty with the high bar in the middle. It's something that I really like about the 54 Chevy. The engine, as you guys can see, looks like they did an amazing an amazing job with the dual carburetor the oven hauser intake gasket intake manifold power steering everything was done really really nice it looks like the person that was working on this car really knew what he was doing they also have a fuel gauge um pressure regulator you can adjust the fuel pressure that goes into the system honestly i don't know too much about it but i think it's a really cool feature to have The car starts right up, even if you don't start the car in a few days and you come back to it, it will start right up. As you guys can see, the carburetors work simultaneously, the front one and the rear one. There's no rattling, uh, there's no rattling sounds, no smoke. The car, when it comes to mechanically being inclined, Mechanically inclined is, is in great conditions. I will drive it anywhere, to be honest with you. I will get on the highway. It is highway ready. You can drive it anywhere. All of the chrome is in great conditions. As you guys can see, the front bumper has no pitting, has no rust. At least it has no, no visible rust. I got underneath the car and it looks like the floor was also replaced. Chassis is solid. It's very good as well as the floor panels. Let me go ahead and open the trunk for you guys. That way you can see inside the trunk. Spur tire is covered up. I don't have the spur jack. That's something that it, it didn't come with. Uh, floors are in excellent conditions. Excellent conditions. If you guys come in person and you want to crawl under, you're more than welcome to do so. If you want to come in FaceTime, to see it over the camera you're more than welcome to do so and i'll be more than happy to send you any videos as per your request let's go ahead and take it for a cruise and again don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel and leave a comment what do you think of the car i love the car let me know what is your favorite part about this vehicle to me it is the upgraded 235 engine with the dual carburetors the power steering system, the brake, the disc brake system in the front, the open differential with um, um, drum brakes in the rear. Man, this car, it looks like they did an amazing job. They did an amazing job. 
it is so unfortunate that they didn't finish the car on the outside um i guess due to what happened to the old person um like i mentioned at the beginning of the video he got a stroke so he had to take the car back and then the family decided to sell it because he wasn't driving the car as much because of the medical condition he had but it looks like they were doing a heck of a job and the next thing that they wanted that they were going to do was um disassemble the chrome disassemble the whole car paint it again and put it back together that is the only thing that was missing from the restoration and the job that they were doing on this car again if you want to buy the car my name is william give me a call 305-783-0755 i'm located in miami florida and we're asking twenty six thousand dollars for this beautiful this beautiful 54 chevy give me a call all right guys as you can see we're driving the car we're currently doing 40 miles an hour there's one little problem with the car the speedometer gauge doesn't work i guess it's a cable um it's something that i have to look into and if it is a cable i'm gonna order a new one and put it on but for the most car for the most part everything else on the dash works temperature gasoline battery oil pressure the car doesn't overheat as you guys can see i have been driving it for a while and the temperature is right in the middle below the middle as a matter of fact it's a really fun car to drive i like the fact that it has a small steering wheel and that you can adjust it up and down it makes it very comfortable to drive front disc brakes makes the car very convenient to drive as well um, power steering I forgot to mention that really really nice and the dual exhaust that it has makes the car sounds extremely nice too the car for one week and I enjoy driving this car every single moment that I'm in it every single day if it's not raining I get on the car and go for a cruise because I know the day that I sell this car I'm gonna miss it it was built very very good the driving quality is extremely well I give this car a 10 when it comes to the quality of driving and even though it is low two inches it doesn't ride really bad it doesn't bounce it is a car built for cruising so if you're looking for a classic car don't look no more give us a call 305-783-0755 we're located in miami florida and we can help you with shipping and we can make the process easy for you to be able to make the transaction comfortable for both for you and for myself thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it god bless you all